Hello guys, welcome to ChinFet. In this episode, I am continuing to show uh, different preferences uh, for setting up inside of Premiere Pro. I'm going to go to Edit, I'm going to go to Preferences, and on this one we're going to go under Media. Media is uh, pretty important here because if you go under this one little setting right here, this default scaling, by default it's on None. Now you got to be kind of careful the way you use this because if you're doing uh, work between, um, if you're doing the dynamic linking between Premiere Pro and After Effects, a, usually you're going to leave the def default media scaling off because when you send it over, something's been uh, set to default media scaling, it is going to put the clips that you send over to After Effects inside of a composition instead of just sending the clips over, it puts a composition within a composition because it has this little thing checkmarked. But this can be important for editing as well. If you're working with different resolutions, if you're working with uh, 1920 by 1080 and, you're, and you're, you're, you're mixing in 4K footage or vice versa, you're doing 4K footage, you're blowing up uh, some 1080 media, uh, oftentimes you'll want to do scale to frame size. Let's show what happens when you do none. I'm going to hit OK and we're going to import. And now when we import the media, it's going to add that feature, whatever I have checked on to it. And right now it has none checkmarked. So right now I'm going to select some media, import it. And if we select these, let's look at the, the nature of this footage here. We have 3840 by 2160. This is UHD Ultra HD footage. So this is a higher resolution, close to 4K. Now I'm going to import. Now I'm going to import some 1080 footage. Just grab a couple of these proxy files here that I've created, and we're going to import those as well. These ones here, if you select, it, these are 1920 by 1080. By the way, if your preview window is not showing here, you can go up to your project window and hit this little three-line tab here and you go to, to preview area, make sure it is checkmarked. If that's not checkmarked, it doesn't show, so I'm going to turn that on and show my preview area. So I've got UHD footage and I've got 1920 by 1080 footage. So the, these are two different resolutions. This is twice the resolution as this. And finally, let's import some photos. Imported a couple pictures of some kitty cats here. And now I've also imported a few photo, a couple photos, and these ones have even a completely different resolution, 3264 by 1836. So we've got three different resolutions in here. Next thing you want to think about is what sort of resolution I'm going to be uh, editing my project in. Am I exporting out to 4K? Am I just doing something for YouTube? Let's say we're doing something for YouTube, and it's just going to be 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to create a timeline here in 1920 by 1080. Drop it in my timeline. Now my timeline is set as 1920 by 1080. Let's take a look at it. I just deleted that clip out of there, but let's take a look at the timeline. Right there, I select it. It's 1920 by 1080. By dragging a clip into this blank area, it created a timeline based off those clip settings. Watch what happens when we put something in that's a different resolution. This is a greater resolution, so I'm going to drop this in and drop. I'm going to drop this into my timeline here. And one thing we notice is that this is not showing the entire picture. In fact, if I select the clip and go to uh, scale here, I'm going to size this down. You're going to see that this is much larger than the, um, so it's actually putting that in, it's actually fitting that amount of resolution in, and you have the borders outside here. So this image is too big for this. You can make this fit by right clicking on the clip and hitting scale to frame size. Scale to frame size makes it image fit inside of uh, the resolution you're working with it. It downscales the, the, the image to fit into the smaller resolution. Same thing when I put 4K footage in here. Let's grab a 4K, or a UHD, sorry, put a U, UHD file in here, which is almost 4K. And it's, uh, since nothing is in there, it's, not like it's asking if I want to change the sequence settings. If we keep them the same to 1920 by 1080, uh, this cell phone video here, if uh, we right click on it and say scale the frame size, we notice it's not showing the entire image. There, now it fits it in. And now this was obviously zoomed in. It was zoomed in twice. Uh, it was zoomed in uh, to basically 200% there because this is twice the resolution of 1920 by 1080. So one way you can fix that, we're going to show the same setting as if you as we, we can set in the preferences, and, and this is main. This preference right here is made for when you import media, it adds that attribute to the media that you import. But you can get around that by let's let's. I'm going to select all my footage here. I'm going to select everything, hold down Control or Command, and deselect my timeline. And I'm going to go up to Clip, and I'm going to go under Video Options, and I'm going to go down to Scale to Frame Size. This is what you see in those preferences. This is going to add that preference to these files now. So now that preference is added, so when I drag these in, it's going to automatically scale it down. So we're looking at the entire image scaled down inside of this 1920 by 1080 space. I grab my Ultra HD, drop that in, and look at it. It's the entire image. And we can tell that by bringing down the scale. You can see as we scale this down, that's the very edge of the, of the frame. And it's scaled it to fit this image. And it does it the other way around as well. If we create a if we create a UHD timeline, I'm going to drop this in and say yes, change the sequence settings. Now my timeline is UHD. 
and I grab a 1920 by 1080 file and drop it in. This is then added that default to scale size, and notice it is fitting the UK. It is blowing. The, it is fitting the UHD. It is blowing it up and fitting uh, this resolution here. Let's remove that attribute. I'm going to select these two 1920 by 1080 files. I'm going to go to clip and I'm going to go to video options and I'm going to uncheck that scale to frame size. Notice it's checked because the attribute's been added. And if I grab this and drop it in, here's what it looks like. It is 1920 by 1080 in a UHD space, so it is not scaling to fit this space here. It's not blowing it up. Now I'm going to delete all this and let's go back to that preference. If we go to edit, preferences, and media, and we're going to change this here to scale to frame size. Then I'm going to hit OK. And now any media that I import from here on out, while that preference is selected, it's going to automatically add that attribute that we saw under clip and video options to anything that I import. So I'm going to import, grab a couple photos, import, grab some 1080 footage. So I've got my 1080 footage and let's grab some 4K footage. So now down here I've got UHD footage, 1080 footage, and my little photo size here. So let's create a 1080 timeline here. I'm going to drag that over here and create my 1080 timeline. And I've got a 1080 clip in there. Now watch what happens when we put UHD in there. It scales it to see the entire image as opposed to zooming up to it and the same with a lower res and the same with a higher resolution photo. Drop that in and we click on that one and it fits it into the frame as well. These are all the same aspect ratio so, so it doesn't do what's called letterboxing or pillar boxing and it scales these images to fit this um, to fit this the 1920 by 1080 resolution and it would do the same vice versa. Now the last setting in here if I go to edit preferences media and we choose set to frame size this is a little bit different this does help on on rendering time though if you're rendering files when you drop a clip into it now if we import let me import one clip here and if we put that clip in here it is going to basically do the scale to frame size but it has also done what is called set to frame size. So, so this has been scaled here, but what it does, one thing that you'll notice if I go to effect controls, now the difference between this, between set to frame size and scale to frame size is this here. If we go to our image that we scaled to frame size here, you'll notice the scale is at 100%. If we go to the one that we did set to frame size, it is at 50%. I brought it down 50% of the size to fit this into the image here. So basically what this is doing here is it's reinterpreting this footage, the, the scale to frame size is reinterpreting the footage as if it's 1920 by 1080. So therefore if you zoom up on this, if you happen to zoom up on this at all, it's going to start looking pixelated because it's now acting, it is now downsized, it literally has downsized it to 1920 by 1080. Whereas set to frame size has basically brought it down to half the percentage size and uh, now when you zoom up on it here with a set to frame size, it will not pixelate if you double the size. It'll start pixelating after double the size because it's UHD, which is double the size of 1080. And uh, now if you zoom any further than that, it will start pixelating. So if you want to maintain the quality of the 4K image and you want to be able to zoom up on it, you're going to be doing set to frame size. If you're just going to be downscaling everything to 1920 by 1080 and you want your computer to, to uh, play the footage faster, you're going to do scale to frame size. So a little bit of difference between those two. But that's essentially it on, on those functions. So the, the times that I end up using this is I keep this uh, default sc media scaling on none if I know I'm going to be taking items to After Effects. If I'm not and I'm just going to be doing straight up editing, I will do scale to frame size if I just want, if I'm doing like photos and I just want everything scaled down where my computer is going to be acting a lot faster and running a lot faster because it's bringing the higher resolution down uh, from like photos down to 1920 by 1080, it will run the photos a lot faster. If I choose set to frame size, this is nice if I'm going to be doing, if I'm going to be doing some zooming on my files, if I'm doing some uh, photos and I want to zoom up to certain parts of the photos, I'll do a set to frame size. So you have different features for different uses of what you might be doing and different styles of editing that you might be doing. So if you have any questions, please post them. Thanks for watching.